Please don't forget to like this video and if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button, then click the bell and then click all. Every like and subscribe helps us make more great videos for you. Okay, so it's the start of a new season here in the UK and uh, you might find that you're going to be using your Fire TV stick a lot more often. What we want to do is we want to make sure that it's running at its best. What do we need to do? So first of all, let's go across to settings just on the right there. Okay, once we're in settings, go across to display and audio. Go into screensaver and ideally we want to turn the screensaver off. So all we do is go down to start time, press the middle button, go down to never, press the middle button, make sure that never is selected. And optional this, we can turn the date and clock off, we can turn the display info off and we can turn the Alexa hints off, shuffle off. Just basically turn them all off, really, because if the screensaver does kick in at any time, we want it as minimal as possible. The next thing to do is go down to display, and we want to make sure that our display is working its best. So what we can do is we can press the up and down buttons on the remote to make sure that the arrows meet the edge of the screen. They don't go too far over and don't go too far below the screen. Now, if you haven't got that option on your stick, then unfortunately you won't be able to adjust this. Amazon do say that you need to make adjustments in your TV, but past experience has taught me that a lot of TVs, you just haven't got that option. Certainly, I know with LG TVs, there's a lot of them that uh, you're missing the edges of the screen on there at times. So, uh, But unfortunately, I've not found a way around that. It only seems to be the 4K Fire Stick, and I think the newer Fire Sticks, you can make these adjustments. So if you've managed to make the adjustments, then select Accept, and there we go. Press the back button, go down to Audio, and what we want to do here is we want to turn these annoying navigation sounds off. So that stops the clicking every time you uh, press a button on the remote. The surround sound, I mean, you can select Best Available, but if you have problems with the sound going out of sync, try selecting either PCM, Dolby Digital Plus or Dolby Digital, or if you've got stereo there, select stereo. Sometimes the sound going out of sync might be the source, which means that you won't be able to do anything about that, but just play around with these to find out which one is best for you. Usually I think stereo or PCM are probably about the most reliable, probably not the best sounding, option but the most reliable. Next thing we want to do is we want to go out of here and we want to go into applications. Go down to game circle, go into that and turn whisper sync for games off unless you use it. Okay so we want to go down to Amazon photos, go into that. Now if you don't use Amazon photos make sure that allow guest connections is off. Go down to access Amazon photos and make sure that has been disabled. Okay, so we go down to App Store, go into that. External market links, we can leave that as it is. I've got mine set to ask before opening. In app purchases, I usually turn this off more for security than anything else because we don't want um, an app making a purchase for us. And then go down to notifications and turn the notifications off. We don't want those button in when we're watching a, a footy match or something. Go down to manage installed applications. Okay, so on the right hand side there, when we've gone down to manage installed applications, it tells us how much we've got available. Now, we should ideally have more than one GB available. As you can see, I have, I've got just over one GB available. You'll never get back to anywhere close to the 5.28 gigabytes that you've got on there because the system takes up most of that space. And uh, there's a lot of apps that come with uh, the Fire Stick that you just can't get rid of. So go into manage installed applications, okay. Make sure that show says all applications. If it doesn't, then, uh, and it says internal only, then press that, go to all applications, and there you go, there's all applications there. There's some apps on here that we won't be able to get rid of. This is what we ideally we want to do, is we want to get rid of any apps that we, uh, we don't want. So go down the list here. If there's anything you see down there that you don't want, just go into it. So say for instance, this one here, bookmarker, go into it, okay and then go down to uninstall and press the middle button on the remote control to uninstall it again. The rest of the apps, what we really wanna do is we wanna clear the, uh, the cache. I mean, there's some apps 
on here that we can't remove. Like I say, if we're going to Alexa shopping, there you go, there's no option on there. The best we can do is go to clear cache there or cache or whatever you like to call it. So go down to each of these and clear the cache on each of them. And that will give you a little bit of extra space. Don't be tempted to clear data because clear data is likely to uh, cause problems with apps. It might, if you do go to clear data, then what it will generally do is it will reset the app back to its default settings. So it'll wipe out all your data. If you've had to log into an app, it'll wipe, that out, wipe out all settings. So it gives it more thorough clean, but it does set the app back to its default settings as, as they were when you first installed it. Next thing we wanna do is we wanna go down to preferences there and go down to privacy settings. It's got here device usage data, we wanna turn that off so and confirm that. Collect app usage data, turn that off as well. Interest-based ads, we wanna turn that off. Notification settings, we go down to that. Do not interrupt, we want that to be switched on because we don't want anything to interrupt us. Featured content, I usually turn both of these off. This is the video autoplay so that you, you basically get adverts for Amazon stuff or uh, other stuff and it automatically plays a video when you turn your Fire Stick on. We can turn those off, that does help a little bit. And finally, if we've got file synced, unlinked or app linked installed, then we need to ensure that anything we've downloaded with them is uh, clear off the stick. Now, the, probably the easiest way to do that is to go up to find just there, go down to search. Now, if you haven't got a find and search, go up to the magnifying glass in the top left-hand corner of the screen and go into that. And we wanna download this thing called Total Commander. So uh, I'm just gonna type Total and uh, do a space and let's start to type commander and as you'll see there you go it comes up just down there once you see it down there highlight it select it select that one there okay and uh, select again to start installing now this bit might take a bit of time just depends on the speed of your internet connection and your fire stick so there you go it's now installed so i'm just going to press the move button to open now this bit is really important you need to allow total commander to access photos media and files on your device so make sure that allows selected then press the middle button on the remote control so what we need to do is we need to go down to file system root go down to storage go down to emulated, go down to zero. And then what we need to do is we need to go into this folder here that says app linked. Okay, and if there's anything in there, we can delete that. So just highlight whatever's in there, press and hold the middle button on the remote control till this menu appears, then go down to delete, press the middle button, and then press it again to say yes. We can also go into the download folder and the downloader folder. And if there's anything in any of those, then delete that too. The next folder we need to go into is Android and then into data. And then in here, have a look down and there you go. I've got a file synced.app folder there. Go into that, go into files, go into download. And if there's anything in there, delete anything that appears in there. Let's go back. So I'm just gonna keep pressing the back button until we get to here. And then I'm gonna go down to this one here, i4 uh, comi 4 appsnew app linked go into there, go into files, go into download. And again, if there's anything in there, press and hold the middle button on the remote control, delete, say delete again. And this one here, let's do that one there as well, delete. You might find that you've got quite a few in there if you've downloaded quite a bit of stuff. So just delete out of there and then keep pressing the back button until we get back to here and then keep going down until you get to link.unlinked. And again, go down to files. And if there's anything in there, delete the uh, files from there and then keep pressing the back button on the remote control until you come totally out of there and back to the main menu there. So hopefully now your Fire Stick should have had a good old clean up. Hope this guide helps and thank you very much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CW Tech. That's at CW Tech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.